Testing starts allowed. To make this ascent a real test of all-wheel drive, we arranged to have the cars stop partway up the hill. Here's the Forester coming up to this challenge. Stop, and then go. Notice the complete lack of wheel spin? No fuss, no bother, just up the hill it goes. It looks easy, for a Subaru that is. Now, let's take a look at some competitors. The Ford Edge, with its optional all-wheel drive system, has a powerful V6 engine, but it still can't muster the power to make it up the hill. Here's the Chevrolet Equinox, with its optional, on-demand, all-wheel drive system. Let's see how it fares. Plenty of front-wheel spin, but no forward movement. Notice how it reacts as if no power is going to the rear wheels. The Toyota RAV4 calls its optional all-wheel drive system full-time four-wheel drive. Again, you can see that it is very front-drive oriented and simply doesn't send enough power to the rear wheels to get the RAV4 up the hill. The Honda CRV, with its optional real-time four-wheel drive, is a strong competitor for the Forester. But, as we've seen with the others, the CRV's all-wheel drive system doesn't give it enough capability for this challenge. The new Nissan Rogue, another Forester competitor, calls its optional all-wheel drive system intuitive all-wheel drive. In this case, it appears that too much power is going to the far side wheels. Plenty of dust, but no forward progress. And just to show that Subaru capability and control is shared among all of our vehicles, here's the Tribeca. Doesn't it make it look easy? Even a hill this steep is no challenge for a Subaru.